In this video, I am going to explain simply the difference between myocarditis and pericarditis because there's often confusion between the two. Myocarditis and pericarditis are both conditions that affect the heart, but they involve different parts of the heart and have distinct causes, symptoms and treatments. Let's start with myocarditis. Myocarditis is inflammation of the myocardium, which is the muscular middle layer of the heart wall, responsible for pumping blood. It is caused by autoimmune or inflammatory diseases, viral infections such as enteroviruses or the flu, but can also result from bacterial or fungal infections or adverse reactions to drugs and therapeutics. Symptoms of myocarditis vary, but can include chest pain, fatigue, shortness of breath and an irregular heartbeat. Treatment typically involves addressing the underlying cause, such as for an underlying virus or immunosuppressive drugs for autoimmune related cases. Other supportive care like rest and medications are also important to reduce inflammation. In severe cases, heart failure management may be necessary. Let's now move on to pericarditis, because pericarditis on the other hand is inflammation of the pericardium, a thin sac-like membrane surrounding the heart. It is often idiopathic, which means no clear cause, but can also result from viral infections, autoimmune disorders, or trauma. Pericarditis typically presents with sharp, stabbing chest pain that worsens with deep breaths or lying down, along with fever and sometimes an elevated heart rate. Treatment for pericarditis usually involves anti-inflammatory medications, such as non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs, or colchicine, to reduce inflammation and alleviate pain. If there's an underlying cause, it should be addressed as well. Severe cases may require draining excess fluid or rarely surgery to relieve pressure on the heart. In summary, myocarditis involves inflammation of the heart muscle and is often caused by infections or autoimmune reactions, while pericarditis involves inflammation of the sac around the heart and can be idiopathic or triggered by various factors. Sometimes you can even have both inflamed together, myopericarditis. Both myocarditis and pericarditis can be diagnosed by a combination of taking a careful history, including recent illnesses, drugs, and injections, cardiac imaging, including an echocardiogram, EKG, and blood tests, including troponin, which is a cardiac enzyme. Treatment for both conditions focuses on reducing inflammation and addressing the underlying cause with supportive care as needed. Both conditions can increase the risk of further serious cardiac complications. It's essential to consult with a local doctor if you ever have any symptoms of these conditions and seek prompt care.